today you join me down at Prairie Sports Village in Burnley. I've come down to see James Goddard, a pro here, uh, part of the team, uh, Rick Shields and Peter Finch's team, Quest, the Quest team. Um, I've admired it, I saw his swing actually uh, quite a while ago on, on YouTube when he played with uh, Rick and Pete. Yeah, I think the first time he went out with them and um, a great swing and uh, as you well know I'm trying to get as much input as I can on my swing to get ready for this season as you can probably see from some of the pictures earlier that uh, I've timed it just right again the weather is awful I've got this morning free to focus on my golf so it was either again as, as it was uh, uh, week before last and last week, every weekend really, I've managed to squeeze a morning in to basically accommodate whatever I, I need to do for me and to pay attention to my golf either it's just getting down to the range you know but this time it's uh, it's another lesson with another coach uh, just squeezing them in as and, as and when I can with whoever I can basically to get as much input as I possibly can with a view to uh, taking away from it as much as I, I, I can to, you know, hopefully make me a better player. And which will then obviously allow us to uh, enjoy some more golf this year. So, when I get in there, I'm led to believe of James that there's no filming um, allowed by Prairie in there through the lesson, obviously. But I dare say at some point he'll show a before and after of my swing. I think that's what he generally does. So we'll see how that goes and see if, um, see what improvements he can make. Because there's always obviously room for improvement. From what I'm led to believe uh, from relevant coaches, um, I've had lessons with this last few weeks, months or so, couple of months. Um, Last one in particular with Alistair, um, managed to get my swing to path um, pretty good, uh, which I thought that's that's what my issue was. Uh, to be honest with you, ends me slice or strong fade, um, but it seems I had that right. And the issue I had was my uh, face of the driver being open. So hopefully. If I can look at why that's happening today and get down to the range and try and practice whatever it is I need to amend, then uh, with any luck I may be able to, uh, I don't mind having a fade, I'm not going to try and hit a draw, I, I'm not bothered about hitting a draw, I can play with a fade by all means, um, I'll take that all day long if I know it's going to go there. But it's when that fade becomes a slice, that's that's my issue. So, with any luck, I can get in there and, and like I say, address it and, and see what I can do about putting it right and controlling it. So, get in there, have a lesson. I'll catch you on the way back out, no doubt. And uh, I'll catch you all on Twitter anyway, later maybe. And uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll try and get, I'm here 9 till 10, it's half past 8 now. Uh, so I'm going to get in there and get a half basket of balls, I think, just to warm up and get loosened up ready, so I'm not wasting time in there, and uh, crack on. See you in a bit. Wish me luck. Right then, guys. Back in Blackpool, on the Golden Mile, as it happens. James Goddard. Let me just say one thing to you. If you've never had a lesson, right, and you moan about your swing, then seriously, find a way of getting some tuition. Um, I've been lucky, I've been very lucky. I was lucky when I first started taking it seriously enough to want to be able to play properly not that I can as yet because I've not had a chance to get out but what I mean by that is like I said when I first got Rory's driver there and, and Tony um, I mean I can't 
everybody has everyone that's seen me swing professional um, coach that's seen me swing each and every one of them have turned around to me and said uh, you've got a great swing you, the, 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 there's hardly anything wrong with it I've just been there again to James now since Tony, I had all them lessons with Tony and like I mentioned before if you see on my previous vlogs or speak to me on Twitter um, I've, I've I don't know this last couple of months I've been up and I've well I think it was just before Christmas actually I had a an hour with Dan Skelcher up at um, Fleetwood because I've not had any oversight for quite a while um, again fantastic coach um, very professional great setup he's got there as well all GC2 systems etc um, last week I managed to squeeze in a hour with Alistair Taylor Ali Taylor down at um, well he's based at LGA Lytham Golf Academy um, but Dan uh, Webster who's the um, pro at St Anne's Old Links there um, as I said, he's been there. I think he's celebrating his 25 years there. Actually, he's done. Um, he organised it for me uh, last minute again because that, that's my life. Is last minute. Everything seems to be last minute. Get what I can when I can. What I can when I can with whoever I can. Basically, uh, went down and had an hour with Ali Taylor, and he said exactly the same. The, 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 the fundamentals are, are fantastic. Um, I've just come. I've just left James there. Really positive. Really, really positive. He's, he's a really good coach. He's, he's James. Very, very. The system he's got there, and the way he explains it all as well, um, to assist you in understanding it, is phenomenal. It really is. Um, I swear, I cannot stress highly enough how, if you want to be any good at golf, I mean, I've learned an awful lot just from watching vlogs, um, and I've, I've I've started to get a, a much better understanding of it as well. Not just by watching the joyful ones, because we have some there's some great vloggers out there that, that have a right good crack round the course, and you know, meet some great lads and have a good chat on Twitter etc but there's, there's obviously the professional ones as well that, that do that kind of thing as well but they, they're still I mean you've got your Rick Shields, your Peter Finches um, you've got your Chris Ryans etc etc I mean to, to me to me the the best one that's out there technically his understanding, his, his explanations, his He's very, very good. Um, he's Mark Crossfield. I mean, you can see why he's got such a massive following. Um, technically, he's he's brilliant. Technically, he's brilliant. Um, but anyway, anyway, that's enough bigging him up anyway, because he's a southerner at the end of the day. Um, but no, he is he is very, very good. But anyway. Getting out on the course, need to start getting out on the course. Just want this weather to tie up, well, well, um, brighten up a bit, dry up a bit. There's no point in me wasting this morning again. I've been so lucky. Whenever I've had a morning free, I could have gone out and had nine holes, 18 holes, and plugged every shot I had, and scuffed every shot I had, and, and still been none, none the better. It's all right, people saying, "Oh, you need course time. You need this, that, and the other." Course time will come, but there's no point getting out on the course unless I've got the fundamentals right. So I've been utilising, and I don't think I could have utilised it any better. In all fairness, especially with the, um, the level of um, tuition that I've, uh, the level of input I've had as well this last few sessions, especially. Um, I mean, Tony. I mean, obviously, I, I do aim to play up at Staining this year and get a few um, uh, get a few 
comps in there this year and hopefully progress a bit more than what I have done over this last couple of years. Um, give me a chance to catch up again with Tony and, and once I, like I said, once I've got that going and maybe just every now and again having a little refresher sort of thing um, and see how that goes. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign up again with Staining I think for this season and like I say, get the official handicap through and see where we stand with that. I'm at 15.6 at present, coming off last. I've not really had a scorecard since last Easter. So, I'm sitting there you now. The, the, the cards I have had, they've, <laughs> they're just not worthy of registering, to be honest with you. They're, they're, all, albeit, I dare say, if I had a registered them, I'd, I'd be back down to 20, you know? Because there's no way, I've, there's no way the court, the, the the way I've played when I've when I have played uh, last year, um, I was shooting to 16, not a prayer. So we'll see, <clears throat> we'll see what progresses on the handicap side of things. But I, I'm not, I'm not stressing over that. To be honest with you, I'll, I am what I am. I play off what I. What, what what I'm given basically and, and hopefully aim to play to that I'll, I'll be aiming to play to the the best of my ability anyway um, and if I can like I said, said before if I can walk away from a course with me and Eldai thinking I've, I've I've improved if I can improve a little bit from each and every hole each and every game each and every month, and it's, it, the, the, the progress will will be there. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the before and afters from um, James uh, James Goddard there down at Prairie Sports. Incidentally, um, I, I will highly recommend. I, I will now here and now highly recommend him as a coach if you want to. Um, have an understanding on how the technical side of things work and how and the, the digital system that they've got in place there um, the screens that they've got up there which freeze frames and uh, oh, it's, it's so clever it really is it's so clever um, and, a, and a pretty nice environment to be in as well if you want to make the morning of it little bistro there and little putting area outside etc um, and, and so, look what a lovely guy, really, really nice guy. As as are everyone else that have, you know, Ali, Dan. I, I'm gonna big Tony up because Tony, Tony is the one that's put all them fundamentals in place. Um, of, of which I dare say if I'd have continued on the uh, consistency that I, I was playing to and also the amount of practice and, and amount of lessons I was having with him, I dare say I'd I'd have, I'd have progressed a hell of a lot further than what I what I have already. Um, but it's all thanks to him that I've been able to go around other coaches, and each and every one of them have praised what I've got already. Um, so I mean, Tony, credit. Um, so that's yeah. If you're in Blackpool area, Tony Johnson up at um, Staining Lodge there. Um, I know he's especially good at, at the, the the kids bringing the. He is so um, growing the game. Or in, in between him and Gavin, the uh, um, joint venture that they've got up there, up at the swing studio. Um, they're so pushy towards. Uh, Growing the game. I mean, the kids that are coming through and juniors that are coming through, staying in now, they really are progressing. And I've, I've, I had a chance of, uh, last year to to play with a couple of them and, and see a couple of them up at the range and um, in the swing studio itself. And uh, it's amazing watching these young young guys hitting a ball like right in the sweet spot. It's, it, it really is a credit to the likes of. Um, Tony and Gavin, so um, and, and up at Staining, it's, it's a nice enough environment as well, to be fair. And they've got Warsteiner on bar as well. Um, 
so yeah it's, it can be a great day we go out there and have a nice game of golf this year and and gain some comps and catch up with boys up there because there's a couple of cracking lads up there as well so um, hopefully try and catch up with them and have a knock round there I think a few of them have all signed up again there this year so yeah definitely get up there and have a have a knock as well as um, hopefully get round well, get, get around as many places as I, as I can and, and play with as many different people and, and, and have a good crack um, get out with Golf Society we've got a couple of trips coming up we've got a Scotland trip because one of the lads it uh, happens to me uh, be my uh, best pal as well um, Branchy my chuckle brother he's um, he's turning 50 told lad this year so to celebrate that it was one of all the lads 50 years last year so we went over to Mercia but Branchy wants to go up Scotland so we, we were all heading up Scotland uh, March time so it'd be nice to go up, up there home of golf and, and, and have a have a sweet knock and enjoy it um, for what it is there. Great, I said, cracking bunch of lads. There's a few old boys as well in, in the old society that we used to all, all play in as well. The, the Rubber Monkey Society, Derry and Martin, Mark, and oh, you, you know, they're all there. Dave, baby Dave. They're cracking, cracking lads. So, with any luck, I can try and catch up with all them as well at some point this year and have a knock with them. They're all still at it. And playing off, um, playing off dodgy handicaps uh, three, four times a week. They must be getting in by now. Surely them buggers, they are committed. But um, what a laugh they are! Cracking, cracking bunch of lads. So hopefully catch up with them at some point and, and have a good knock. But uh, we shall see. No promises, no commitments. It's a case of just doing what I can when I can, with who I can, and wherever I can, sort of thing. Just got to keep going with this, with this momentum that I've got going at the moment. This last couple of months, um, really feeling the benefits from it now. Really starting to feel comfortable with my swing and feeling a bit more, a bit more positive about it as well, rather than well, hit and hope. You know, that's pretty much what my game was all about, really. Um, so it's all starting to. It's all starting to come together again properly, and uh, I say I try and keep this momentum going this year and see if I can improve on where I was, where I left off really when I um, lost track of time and, and opportunity to keep catching up with Tony and everything else. So keep keep battering it as much as I can, and uh, hopefully have some fun. I do know that um, that James uh, James is going to put up on YouTube uh, a bit of a talk over about where I was at to where I am within that hour uh, you'll definitely see a, a massive massive change um, albeit as I said he said my swing was 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 brilliant really in com you know definitely not a 16 handicap swing just something that you know it's just that fundamentals he, um, he, he, he worked on I mean he took the he, he took the release out of the equation totally he says you don't need a release with the shoulders you've got you've got a natural natural swing you just need to free your arms up to come round and that, literally it's all I was doing it's the transition period where I falter um, as I get to the top of my back swing my arms send, tend to go up rather than round and then he did a couple of drills for me he did a drill for me basically stuck a stuck a stick lining stick alignment stick in end of a seven iron and utilized it to get me up. oh i'm sure you'll see i'm sure you'll see he'll be knocking about somewhere i'll uh, i'll be tagging he'll be tagging me on on twitter i'm sure so he'll be knocking about on there <laughs> but i'll uh, I'll try and push that through. Um, so yeah, whoever gets to see this and catch up, uh, you can all see me on. You know, you, I'm always knocking about on on, on Twitter, Instagram, or wherever else. Um, I'm, I'm not going to go down that road that all the other vloggers have gone down. That you know, please thumbs up, 
by all means give us a message ask us a question and and i'll do what i can to get back to you and an answer them I, I don't know what i can answer i mean i'm no professional i'm not going to pretend to be any professional i'm not going to be pretend to be any professional vlogger either you know i'm doing this really there's a a number of lads knock lads and lasses knocking about on 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 Twitter that keep asking me how I'm getting on, how this is going and how that's going. This is a perfect way for me to be able to do that really. Um, squeeze it in, bang it together, load it up and, and there you go then you can get to see how it's going. So um, I dare say hopefully at some point in, in come summer when we get out on course we can I'll meet up with some characters I'm sure and uh, maybe get a couple of good entertain you know entertaining vlogs going um have a bit of crack you know but we'll see we'll see how it, you know just see see how just keep going on this on this roller coaster of a of a journey really i suppose and see where it takes us and uh, try and enjoy it so that's me i'm gonna get back home now uh busy afternoon with kids and uh get sorted also try and get a bit of tidying up done a bit of relaxing sorted out ready for tomorrow uh, relaxing tomorrow and get stuck back in again on monday and see what space i can make for for next weekend and see what i can do next weekend if the weather's nice i dare say i'm going to try and get in fact i am uh, i'm going to try and get down to the i am going to get to the range get down to tea time um at least one evening this week as soon as possible in fact you know what i'm going to get down there tomorrow at some point i'm going to get down to the range at some point tomorrow and uh just while it's still fresh in my mind and try and practice that swing record myself doing it so i can look back on it as well and see if i'm achieving what i'm aiming to do uh i'm not looking where the ball's going as yet i'm just gonna focus on the swing you start looking at where the ball's going then you you just I, i'm just going to go back to square one so i just need to look at where my swing's at and then try and get my body to be and my mind to to find you know familiarize myself with it to memorize it so that it will come a bit more naturally hopefully um but as i said practice makes perfect so they say so we'll see what see what happens see what comes of it so i'll get down to the range tomorrow have a have a swing on there try and get down one night this week as well if i can or maybe midweek and then with any luck if it dries up a bit for next week maybe look at getting an early sunday morning in go and get nine holes up at staining lodge there we we want at lads um and see see how that goes be interesting that be interesting the best ever round uh, was at Staining Lodge it is quite a forgiving course is Staining Lodge it's quite a young course but it is quite forgiving but my best ever round there was a, a do you know what it'd be about three years ago now where I shot an 84 bear in mind I was about 24 handicap though at the time just had one of those rounds where I seemed to shoot out my skin really but freak round if you want to call it that um, so 84 that's that's me my best ever round so at some point this year I'd like to think I can beat that uh, but we'll see we'll see see how it goes Play it by you. So anyway, take care, lads. Any questions? By all means, send them along either on YouTube or um, find us on Twitter at Rory's Driver, um, and I'll uh, I'll catch up with you there and uh, have a chat, have a catch up. You're always up for meeting up new guys and goals and getting as much information and as much knowledge about it and as you know many invites as possible you know so look forward to seeing you there i do actually sorry before you go 
I do want to look at getting myself this golf game system as well at some point this year because I think that's a really good way of of um, categorising your game and looking at how you're getting on your progression in the game as well. It's a great system. Um, I've had it on the on the phone, but the, my phone gets battered. Obviously, using it here as a camera, it just chews the battery up. So um, can't really get a full round on game golf, unfortunately, on on my app. So looking at getting the proper system. Um, I'm sure I can manage tagging myself in it. Get used to doing that. But, uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with that system, then uh, definitely something to look at because of the, uh, like I said, the way it categorises each and every shot and your shots in regulation, etc. And then you can look at the sort of you can sort of target then your, your imperfections in the game and, and have a look at what you need to do to put them right. So. I definitely, definitely want to be looking into getting older one of those systems this year. But we'll, uh, again, just keep battling on, go with flow, get on that, uh, get on that train, and uh, enjoy the ride. Take care.